Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Paul Cairns and today we'll be working with burning and dodging in Photoshop. Um, before Photoshop, photographers did this in the darkroom using their hands to block or to uh, concentrate light in certain areas of the image. Burning is adding more light to an area of the photograph and dodging is taking away light. What that does when you dodge is you're revealing more details. So in shadow areas you're bringing out more details where if uh, you have highlighted areas that are a little bit too hot you can burn in more detail into that area. Um, it's also very nice to use if you want to pop a photograph more like with this model for example. I'm going to burn the areas around her and maybe dodge her hair and her boots a bit and it will make the image pop a lot more. I can give you a, a quick demonstration by showing you what I've already done before the video in this layer here I have a fill layer that I burn and dodge. I'm going to just toggle it off and on and you can see the difference. It's quite dramatic and it makes the photograph um, more rich and makes you draws your eye into the area you want it to want it to go with the burning. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, toggle that off. So to begin what you do is you create a regular layer uh, control shift n or just hit the little button down here and create a blank layer and then you want to hit shift f5 while that layer is selected and bring up the fill dialog box make sure it says 50 percent gray and overlay um, sometimes what happens is well I'll turn it, I'll just hit it and you'll see what happens the image is going to go completely gray, so what should have happened is that uh, the overlay was not selected. So we'll just go up here into the Layers palette and select Overlay. And as you can see, the image is available again, even though we still have this layer here. So just make sure you select Overlay, and that way you can work on that. Um, select a brush, shot, brush size that you want to work with. Uh, using your regular paintbrush, just regular brush, and uh, make sure that your palette over here is black and white. You uh, burn with using the black and just press X to switch over to white if you want to dodge. Um, hardness, well that depends on what you want to do, but I don't recommend going too soft or too hard, especially if you want areas to, to you want it to bleed in a little bit so it looks natural. You don't want it to be like so harsh looking, the lines, that uh, it doesn't look natural. So just leave it at that at 75% right now. Um, with opacity, you don't want uh, to go too high when you're burning and you want to go lower when you're dodging. Um, we're going to start off with just 15%. So with your keyboard, you can just press 1-5 quickly. And it, hang on. That's not working. Hmm. 10, 5, 15%, okay. And just start painting over the areas you want to burn. And this is where you want the brush to be a little bit harder, but not too hard, is when you're going up against areas that you don't want to burn. Now you can, of course, go higher if you want to burn more dramatically, or you can just go over it again and just double it up. So instead of 15%, the total amount will be 30%. get into areas that are uh, a little bit tighter, just reduce the size of your brush. Left bracket key to go smaller, right bracket key to a bit bigger. Alright, toggle it off. You can see quite a difference. Now for dodging, I'm just going to zoom in, so it's Control alt 0 on PC, Command-Alt-0 um, on Mac, I believe. 
Anyways, we'll press X on the keyboard to bring the white palette up. And now we'll be dodging. I'm just going to reduce the size of the brush, left bracket, and I'm going to dodge the hair a bit. It's at 15% right now. So I'm just going to bring that up a bit more so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And on, and you can see how it changes. You can also dodge the face too. Um, some photographers even just dodge areas like the eyes. I personally, I think there's a better way to do that, um, and we'll go into that into another video down the down the road a bit. But uh, some photographers like doing that. I, I personally think it doesn't give you nearly as much control as you could with other methods, so maybe check back for other videos on that. Let's get down to the boots. Um, just to move over the image, just hold down your space key and then drag your mouse around and you can bring it wherever you need to go. Go back to 20% with the boots. You can see it brings out quite a bit of detail. Detail that's already there, it's just you have to dodge it to bring it out completely. Alright, control zero, bring it to 100%, and now I'll just toggle off and on, and you can see the difference. And that's what we did. Um, and versus what I had done before. That's it for burning and dodging. Hope you enjoyed that video. And uh, if you can check out my blog, that would be great. It's Paul Karen's forward slash blog. The name of the blog is Through the Photographer's Eye. There you'll find more tips and tutorials and uh, opinions and facts about photography. You can check out my main website, paulcarens.com, to see more of my work. And please subscribe to the, this YouTube channel if you're interested in seeing more tutorials like this. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.